Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be doing a um, smoky eye look with this wet, not wet and wild, this hard candy, this hard candy palette. It's all nudes. It's going to be a super natural eye with a bold line, of course, and bold lashes. So let's get started. I am going to prime my eyes with the Bobbi Brown Concealer. Okay, now I'm going to cut my tape. There it is. I usually have this already done, but I wasn't even sure I was going to film today. And I just decided to at the last minute. People have asked me what kind of tape this is, and I don't know. It's a cloth tape. It's a cloth medical tape. I've had it for a long, long time. And it says Johnson in the middle. Oh, I was going to pull my hair back. I will do that real quick. That's pretty. Not. Okay, that's good enough. I think this one might be too short, but hopefully it's it'll work. Now we're going to go in with our wet and wild, I mean our hard candy palette. Sorry, I keep saying that. I guess I've used too much wet and wild lately. So we are going to go in with our hard candy palette and a fluffy brush. And we're going to go into, I think I used this rusty color last time so but that was a good transition color i think we're going to do that this rust color right there that's going to be our transition color because i know it works uh oh look what i did I think I'll have a nice line because I already got it down below that, didn't I? Oh well. We'll make it work. I'm doing it again. Yes, I just seem to be not able to do my makeup today. I guess I should just keep my fingers off the tape. Okay, now we're going to take this, it's a little bit smaller of a fluffy brush, and we're going to go into this peachy color right next to it. I don't know if you can see that, it's the one right next to it. We're going to put that all over my lid. And I don't know that 
The lighter colors are not nearly as pigmented in this palette. We'll just dig in a little deeper. See, can hardly get any. I might need to use my finger. Oh, look at the powder. Let's try it with my finger. Not much better. Okay. Well, let's see. Maybe we'll just go over the whole lid with that peachy color. I mean, that darker color. So, my assessment of this palette is that the darker colors are great. The lighter colors, not so much. And this tape. It's just not sticking today. I guess I shouldn't put the primer on before I put the tape on. Or else I've got the tape up too high or something. So, I think we are going to go into this jewels palette and put a little bit of this gold on my lid. Right in the middle. And this is the CoverGirl True Blend Jewels palette. And I'm going into the gold right here. And I'm just going to pop that in the center of my lid. I wasn't going to put any jewel tones in this, but just to add a little bit of something to it, since that matte look didn't really work out. You can always change up in the middle. Now I'm going to go in with this Maybelline black and make a line. And I'm not even going to push line today because this is a easier look. I don't know if I can do this on this one or not. But I am going to try and get this Black shadow, that's what I'm using, the Maybelline black shadow, down into the lash line. Now we're going to do Lashes Superhero.
that's pretty much the look I'm gonna do. I'm I may add lashes to it, um, fake lashes. But I don't know. So that is our simple quick eye for whatever I said this video was for. It didn't work out with the wet and wild. I, it's not wet and wild, it's hard candy. I don't know if I'll ever get that right. Anyways, it was really cheap though. I don't remember how much it was, like $6. And I really like that one color in there. And probably the other dark colors are good. I should have tried the dark brown in the corner, but I already put the black on. Um, so I wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily recommend this just because I don't think any of the light colors show up at all. But this one is the bomb. It was our savior today. And then I used Superhero. It's fine, but I don't think it's worth the money. I think you can get something just as good at the drugstore. And that's it for our eye look. I am going to go put on the rest of my makeup and I will be back. Okay, I am back and this is the look with all my makeup on. This is the final look for my eyes. This is a quick, simple look with using two color shadows and then using a black eyeshadow as your liner. Throw on some mascara, do your brows, you're good to go. So if you like this look, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next video.